Organizers refer to it as miles of aisles. You can buy guns here from retail booths and from private dealers. I'm selling a Mossberg 12 gauge bolt action. And how much are you trying to sell? $200. And this gun is what? It's a Mossberg 16 gauge bolt action. And how much are you sell for? 150 And business at what is called the Nation's Gun Show in Chantilly, Virginia is good. So good the ATMs have run out of money. There are first time buyers galore. What's made you decide to buy a gun? I think it's the possibility that our laws might change and we're not going to have that ability to protect ourselves. President Obama taking executive action on guns has alarmed many of the people here. Annette Elliott is the president and owner of the company that puts on this show and about 85 others in the U.S. each year. What do you think the president of the United States really wants to do when it comes to guns? Well, I think the end game with a lot of Democrats is to confiscate them. I think that is that what you're afraid of that, that, sure. Is I that think, what you think the president wants to do then? Maybe. Yeah, I think maybe he does. Another reason the show is jammed? The ISIS threat has increased business. That immediately increased business. I used to be a zero gun, you know, uh, guy, but Nowadays, you don't even know who your opponents are. You gotta be ready. Opinions here are not black and white. There are people here who feel there should be an increase in firearms regulation. But what is extremely prevalent is a deep distrust and suspicion of the motivations of the federal government. It's a Winchester 300 short name. How much do you want to sell it for? I don't know, I'm looking at about six for it. 600? Yep. If you buy a gun from someone in the business of dealing in firearms, Federal law requires background checks. Yeah, this is the state law. One in ten is yours, everything between these gray lines. And that's what's happening here. The information is then fed into computers before customers are allowed to buy their guns. Police are present to arrest people when the computer checks indicate criminal violations. But the private dealers are not legally required to conduct background checks. I would ask you for a Virginia driver's license. That way I know you're from within the state. But if I gave you a fake Virginia driver's license, you would never know. I would have no idea. Would you trust me? Do I have an honest face? Would you sell it to me? I, I trust you. You don't okay. give an honest face okay. to me. I mean. but, but that being said, sometimes if you don't think someone has an honest face, if you have a bad vibe, you don't sell it. Correct. Okay. You, you got you to gotta go with your gut instinct. This is a competition M1A. It's a civilian version of the M14. This is a SD40 VE Smith & Wesson 40 caliber. Um, it's a lot like a Glock. Jerry Cochran is one of the retailers doing a booming business here. We sell any kind of gun, any kind of legal gun you can buy. He is also one of the minority of people here who think things should be more stringent. I'm for expanded background checks. I think that a gun that uh, if somebody's engaging in the business, they ought to go through a background check. I've been at just 35 years. I've never sold a gun without a background check. Many here believe the government needs to be more concerned about mental illness than making it harder to buy a gun. But they are aware things are about to change. He's Obama. You know, he wants to do what he thinks is in the best interest of the country. I disagree strongly with him on this issue. Gary Tuckman, CNN, Chantilly, Virginia.